John F. Kennedy had been gone for 25 years when he played an unforgettable role in this vice presidential debate. Senator, you're no Jack Kennedy. But the story really begins seven weeks earlier. NBC News correspondent Andrea Mitchell has been told by a highly reliable source that Senator Dan Quayle, a 41-year-old Republican from Indiana, will be Vice President Bush's choice as his running mate for vice president in the fall campaign. Go get him. Bush introduced an enthusiastic Dan Quayle at a New Orleans riverboat rally. We will win because America cannot afford to lose. Great, Danny. Well done. I think at 41, Quayle was about the age of Bush's eldest son and he was new to the national spotlight. The question is whether we're going to go forward to tomorrow or we're going to go past to the, the, the back. And Almost immediately, you, there were concerns raised about Quayle, back, yes. about how he got into the National Guard during Vietnam and whether he was experienced enough to be vice president. I know perhaps uh, as much about national security as anybody with few exceptions. He'd be going up against Michael Dukakis, his running mate, Senator Lloyd Benson of Texas a decorated World War II veteran and a former presidential candidate himself, Benson was 26 years Quayle's senior. Nobody ever asked any questions about whether or not Lloyd Benson would be qualified to be president of the United States. When the debate came, Quayle's readiness was topic one. What would he do if something happened to Bush and he became president? First I'd, first I'd say a prayer for myself and for the country that I'm about to lead. And then I would assemble his people and talk. Quayle was asked the question again and, and again. Surely you must have some plan in mind about what you would do if it fell to you to become president of the United States as it has to so many vice presidents just in the last 25 years or so. As he struggled to answer, answer Quayle made a fateful experience. comparison. I have as much experience in the Congress as Jack Kennedy did when he sought the presidency. Benson and Kennedy were both elected to Congress in the late 40s, around the time Quayle was born. Benson had a response ready, and he pounced. Senator, I served with Jack Kennedy. I knew Jack Kennedy. Jack Kennedy was a friend of mine. Senator, you're no Jack Kennedy. That was really uncalled for, Senator. <laughs> You're the one that was making the comparison, Senator. Fairly or not, Benson had scored a direct hit. Dan Quayle needed to dispel widespread concerns among voters about his qualifications. While he was clearly very well coached, what is not clear is how well he scored in his effort to be presidential. Democrats declared victory. I said he was the star of the show, and he was, wasn't he? But in the end, it didn't matter. Dukakis himself stumbled badly in his debate a week later. Bush rode Ronald Reagan's coattails to a decisive victory, and Dan Quayle became vice president. So help me God. There is a Reagan postscript to all this. He didn't like Benson's you're no JFK put down. I thought that remark was a cheap shot and unbecoming a senator of the United States. But four years later, when the Democrats nominated William Jefferson Clinton, then former President Reagan said this. This fellow they've nominated claims he's the new Thomas Jefferson. Well, let me tell you something. I knew Thomas Jefferson. He was a friend of mine. And Governor, you're no Thomas Jefferson. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.